Hi, today is a new type of lesson to help you improve your pronunciation. We're going to look at a common English pronunciation problem and then improve your pronunciation with the imitation method. Even if you don't need help with these problem sounds, you'll learn natural pronunciation, word stress, connected speech and intonation. Oh, also pay attention to my facial expressions as these all help you to communicate effectively. Etc. By practicing with this imitation method, you'll quickly improve your pronunciation and become a clear, confident English speaker. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The common problem we're looking at today is when students get their vs and was mixed up. And I often find that some of my students don't even know they're doing it. So this is how this lesson will work. First, I'll give a quick explanation of how to make the v and w sounds correctly. And if you know how to do this, you can skip forward to the practice as I've put the timestamp below. Then we're going to practice your pronunciation using the imitation method. I'll talk to you about a subject. Today it's about owning a dog so that you can listen to my pronunciation. Then I'll say it again, pausing after each sentence, allowing you to copy me. Not only will you be testing your v and w pronunciation, you'll be practicing connected speech, stress, intonation, and learning new phrases. Oh, and in case you need it, I've also created a copy of the text highlighting the sentence stress and important phrases that you can download from the link below. <laughs> so, very quickly, Here's how you pronounce the sounds v and w. If you don't need this, you can skip forward to this timestamp. V is voiced and the airflow is restricted through the mouth by pressing your bottom lip lightly against the edge of your top teeth, like this. V. Turn your voice on and say now say valve. OK, let's practice the w sound. This sound is also voiced, so start with your lips rounded and your tongue back. Now turn your voice on and say w. w. There's no restriction with this one. Now watch my lips. What, when, why? If you'd like more information about how to pronounce these sounds, see my video here. Now, let's get down to the imitation lesson. Today, we're talking about owning a dog. Don't forget to watch out for the facial expressions as they're all part of great communication. I don't know about you, but I absolutely adore dogs. Big ones, little ones, all shapes and sizes. I love them all. If you ask me what I prefer, cats or dogs, I'd say dogs, hands down. I don't actually own a dog myself. I would love to, but apparently they can be a bit of an inconvenience. I've heard people say they're a tie or it's like having to look after a small child. I often hear the excuse, I'm sorry Liz, I must go, I have to get back for the dog. So you really have to think very hard before getting a dog. But on the other hand, you do get out and about a bit more, taking them for walks every day. It's really good exercise and stops you from becoming overweight. My friend Viv went to work with her dog last week. Everybody loved him and made a fuss of him except when he suddenly jumped out of the window. Viv was very worried. He was okay though. Apparently he'd seen a rather lovely chihuahua walking past. So he jumped out the window in a flash and chased the chihuahua all the way down the road. 
Luckily, the Chihuahua wasn't a vicious dog. But personally, I enjoy the love that dogs give back. They're always there for you when you walk through the door, ready to greet you and make you feel happy. Hmm. I wonder if there's a rescue dog available. I don't know about you, but I absolutely adore dogs. Big ones, little ones, all shapes and sizes. I love them all. If you ask me what I prefer, cats or dogs, I'd say dogs, hands down. I don't actually own a dog myself. I would love to, but apparently they can be a bit of an inconvenience. I've heard people say they're a tie or it's like having to look after a small child. I often hear the excuse, I'm sorry Liz, I must go, I have to get back for the dog. So you really have to think very hard before getting a dog. But on the other hand, you do get out and about a bit more. Taking them for walks every day. It's really good exercise and stops you from becoming overweight. My friend Viv went to work with her dog last week. Everybody loved him and made a fuss of him. Except when he suddenly jumped out of the window. Viv was very worried. He was okay though. Apparently, he'd seen a rather lovely chihuahua walking past. So he jumped out the window in a flash and chased the chihuahua all the way down the road. Luckily, the Chihuahua wasn't a vicious dog. But personally, I enjoy the love that dogs give back. They're always there for you when you walk through the door. ready to greet you and make you feel happy. Hmm. I wonder if there's a rescue dog available. How did you do? It will really help your pronunciation if you repeat the exercise. Just use the timestamps below to go back and repeat. Do let me know in the comments below if you like this type of lesson. Until next time, love and peace.